fellow students all the very best for the upcoming INS set exam i am sure you must have made a schedule for yourself and you know how to study well as an obgy tutor i want to tell you obgy is a very important subject you all know that even if you don't choose to be an obstetrician and gynecologist even in your day to day practice you might come across females who will have some emergency gynecological or obstetric condition and you need to deal with it that is why obgy has come up as one of the most important subjects in these exams right now if you've not made a schedule it's fine it's okay had i told you this 15 days ago i would have told you that okay you give two days to gynecology and obstetrics because two days of in fact one and a half day is more than enough to revise the entire obgy that is what we are doing in the summary of manipal right now if you don't have time i will just enumerate the topics which you have to read properly and in the topics what all you have to read okay you don't have to go through the entire book entire chapter first of all stop being scared okay i know let less time is left you know obgy is a vast subject how will you revise oh my god so much to revise so many subjects are interlinked so many times in my lectures i take names of other consultants who are teaching um, uh, medicine uh, pediatrics then um, uh, skin diseases then uh, physiology so gynecology is a combination of everything it is physiology little biochemistry little pediatrics little of everything surgery medicine everything is there so if you are thorough with um, the basics of everything even anatomy you know prolapse needs a lot of anatomy so if you are thorough with all these subjects i will not say thorough you can't be like a topping in every subject but yes if you have the basic knowledge of all these subjects gynecology obstetrics becomes much easier so let me quickly enumerate the obstetrics and the gynecology chapters now i have written them here no coming to the entire course of gynecology first all the cancers genital cancers endometrial cervical cancer ovarian cancer and of course the gestation trophoblastic diseases these four are very very important especially the stage wise management nobody is going to ask you the pathogenesis how it happens yes cin is important in carcinoma cervix cin screening who recommendations those are very important pap screening is important nobody is going to ask you the uh, fixation of pap yes maybe one or two questions might come just to check the brilliant students but generally they will just base be based on the um, case wise management as to this is the scenario what will you do next okay so stage wise management very important then coming to the structural defects like fibroids adenomyosis endometriosis not very important you just need to know the staging of figo staging of fibroids and of course the basics of the non invasive and the invasive techniques right now the rule of gynecology is every disease is getting cured with hormones any hormonal therapy that you have to give it is ocp is always generally the first line unless you want to avoid estrogen and you want to go for progesterone so all the progesterones are quite safe in almost all the diseases every treatment starts with progesterone only coming to the uh, other chapters like contraception infertility pcos menopause puberty amenorrhea all of them are hormonal things right so if you are thorough with your hormones and you know what is happening in the hypothalamus pituitary ovary how these hormones are acting you will be like 60% done puberty is important because the abnormal pubertal development um the uh, precocious puberty delayed puberty is an important fact especially the congenital abnormalities associated with the turner syndrome colman syndrome all the swyer syndrome then uh, testicular feminization syndrome all these are important right so you just need to know the basics you don't have to like jump into the details but these are all related pcos infertility uh, chromophene letrozole basic basic differences menopause is not very important when it comes to gynecology it is mostly osteoporosis which will be covered by the orthopedic doctor talking about abnormal uterine bleeding or atypical uterine bleeding if you do know the menstrual cycle properly which will be covered in your physiology lectures then definitely you are half done or more than half done and mostly the treatment is progesterone because it is generally because of estrogen content and you need to know the new terminologies why oligomenorrhea is not oligomenorrhea why polymenorrhea the name has changed you need to know that then coming to the structural problems genital prolapse congenital abnormalities 60% will be done if you are thorough with your pelvic structures the anatomy um and the uh, uterine structures how it develops the embryology little bit of anatomy is here and you just need to know the names of the surgeries that are done for genital prolapse just the names if you are done with your anatomy you just have to go through the names which surgery for which kind of prolapse and last but not the least genital infections genital infections most common is pid and tuberculosis of uterus and the rest of the uh, sexually transmitted diseases you must have read in dermatology coming to obstetrics obstetrics is all about delivery labor so labor all the stages 1 2 3 
very important you don't have to go into the details how the restitution is happening even though you will be taught with the pelvis the baby is moving like this like this you don't have to you're not a pg student right you are still a, an undergraduate you just just finished your mbbs so you just need to know what are the cardinal movements of the baby inside first stage second stage the partogram is important the who modified partogram and the stage 3 complications you need to know that then puperal puperal um, normal changes in the body there may be one or two questions how the uterus involutes that is uh, something you just need to read if you have not tabulated it just make it like a table one week two weeks three weeks four weeks what happens right next thing that they will ask is puperal abnormalities what all abnormalities can happen so pph is very important in the third stage abnormality in puperum the abnormalities you need to know the breast problems the uh, sub involution and all that the reasons for that then coming to abnormal labor abnormal labor will generally be on either obstructed labor or rupture uterus or it may be because of mal presentations mal presentations are very uh, important especially breech occipital posterior so again the main may you just have to touch the subject you just have to go through the main 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 things that is the summary of everything then coming to the basics of obstetrics that is immunization and dietary there will be definitely one or two questions on that immunization the uh, anemia mukt bharat program the who and the government of india guidelines for the antenatal visits these are important and the teratogenic infections the all the viral infections which cause teratogenicity there may be some question on the x ray radiation also if you haven't read it just skip it don't try to start anything new now you just have to revise what you have done but labor is very important then the complicated labor complicated labor can be multi fetal gestation it can be rh negative it can be a growth retarded baby it can be preterm labor so little bit of everything these are all very important i cannot say that you have to skip it or you should skip it then uh, abortion and mtp half will be covered in your forensic that is mtp regulations abortions the definitions are important and uh, the the way you abort in the second trimester they may just ask you to enumerate what are the um, uh, the procedures with that we use in the second trimester abortion first trimester is still easy second trimester we don't follow many uh, things which we were uh, doing long back okay then coming to uh, abnormalities or you can say complications of pregnancy like abruptio placenta placenta previa ectopic pregnancy is a very important topic especially the dosing and how you follow up the patients after methotrexate and all that surgery they may, they are not going to ask you and last but not the least is maternal adaptations there is always one or two question on maternal adaptations what is happening because it is interrelated with the diseases cardiac diseases uh, liver diseases kidney diseases so if you know the normal what is going to happen you will be able to understand the diseases also maternal diseases in pregnancy is in overlap with the medicine department but you need to know the basics of liver kidney heart and uh, of course anemia and pregnancy is very very important and little bit about hiv which i'm sure will be covered in your psm lectures so all the best children don't get scared obgy is important just give two days but now not much enough time is left to so just give yourself half a day or maybe one full day for complete obgy in that complete obgy you will be covering some topics of anatomy some topics of dermatology some topics of physiology and then you'll be done and sorted all the best